everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I would love to have you consider hit that subscribe button below. I do lots of budget friendly home decor videos. So if that interests you, then definitely subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello again. Thank you so much for your continued support. So for today's video, I have a really easy kind of last minute fall um, upcycle centerpiece. I'm just gonna use some things I've already had from previous fall seasons. I'm just gonna give them some new life and show you how to make them into a really nice centerpiece. I'm also gonna use one of the only new items that my Dollar Tree has gotten in that like crafters square section. And before I show you how to do today's really simple video, I just wanted to show you some pieces that I got sent to me from Cupshe. And Cupshe is known for their bathing suits, but since it is the fall and I am a Northeast girl, bathing suits don't fly here year round. So I did get one, but I got some really nice versatile fall pieces. So I'm gonna do a really quick try on, show you what I got, and then we will get into today's video. So like I said, Cupshe is known for their bathing suits and I will leave their website down below in the description box. And I did end up getting one bathing suit, but since it's the fall and I'm from New York and we do not wear bathing suits year round, or at least I don't, I was really intrigued by the clothing options that they had. So I was really excited to see some of the great items that they are carrying besides their bathing suit. Okay, so I got this tunic top. It is like kind of a, like a dusty rose burgundy color and it's a super cute like lace detail on the bottom. I love this. This would be perfect to wear with leggings. I'm wearing jeggings now and it's just such a fun piece for the fall. It's super feminine and comfortable and I've already worn this like two days in a Okay, so the next piece is this off the shoulder top. It kind of has like a band here and drapes over. I like it because although it kind of has the band here, I can drape this over and kind of flatter my mommy tummy. And I love that it is off the shoulder and it's super soft. The next piece is this really comfy like lounge. I wouldn't say it's a sweatshirt. It's a very thin material, but it's perfect for fall. It's perfect just if you want like a little something, but it's not like super heavy. And it says, I am freaking cold, which I say all the time. That's why I chose this. And I don't, this isn't like a super long sweatshirt and it does have this fitted band here. So you could wear it with leggings. You just have to make sure that you pick ones that will cover your butt but yeah super comfortable and I will be wearing this all the time because I'm always cold <laughs> piece I got sent is just really cute bathing suit now I don't feel 100% confident still with my postpartum body that's why I didn't do like a video try on but this bathing suit is really flattering for my mommy tummy and I can't wait to be rocking it next year, but I'm gonna enjoy the fall and winter for now. So I will leave all of the item codes as well as my coupon codes down in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. Okay, so now let's move on to today's DIY, which is a trash to treasure. I have had these pumpkins, I believe these were from Christmas tree shop like years ago, and I was gonna throw them out because I just was not feeling like that bright orange and yellow, but I decided they were a great base for a trash to treasure. Even though I do enjoy traditional tones for fall, I wanted this centerpiece to be more neutral. So I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint and mineral, and I'm gonna go ahead and take off the stems on the two pumpkins that have them, just pulled them off. And I am going to give all of the pumpkins one coat of the Waverly chalk paint and mineral. Now, if you want a more opaque look, you could definitely do probably two, maybe three coats on these, but I didn't mind having a little bit of the orange peeking through. I felt like it kind of looks like faded and rustic, and it kind of, to me, tied in 
the traditional tones, but still gave that more modern neutral look that I was going for. Going along with that mix of traditional and neutral, I decided on the pumpkin that had the floral arrangement on top. I was just gonna paint the pumpkin one coat of the mineral paint, and I decided to leave the florals as is. They are more rustic, but I decided to just leave it. So I'm gonna take as the base of this centerpiece this really pretty tray I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year for $5, which I can't believe that is like such a good deal for the size and quality tray that this is. So I'm just gonna take my Waverly Chalk Paint and Truffle and do a thin coat to outline and cover the green color that is around the tray. Super easy, just covered that green right up. My local Dollar Tree has not gotten all the Crafter Square items, but they do have these really cute four pack of chalkboard labels. So I'm gonna use three of them for this centerpiece portion. I'll be using the fourth one in another element of this project. And I'm just gonna take a chalk pen and freehand, which I know if you watch any of my videos, I never do. I just decided to spell out grateful, thankful, and blessed. And then I'm gonna take this twine that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. Instead of the twine that does come with the chalkboard labels, which you could totally use, I just needed something longer. And I'm just going to loop through each of the tags, leaving enough so that when I'm ready to put together my centerpiece, I could just tie each tag around the pumpkin. While I was waiting for the paint to dry on my pumpkins, I decided to go ahead on my Cricut, take some cardstock that I've had in this leaf template that I found on the Cricut design space. I will also try to find a free printable or make a template or link something that is comparable. If you don't have a Cricut, you can easily just like hand trace. But I'm gonna use these three colors of cardstock from Hobby Lobby. I believe this is in the farmhouse packet that they have. And I'm just gonna cut these leaves. I cut 12 in total. I only ended up using 10 for the garland that you will see me make. And the other two, I did a little bonus like Dollar Tree sign for this project. So once all of those leaves are cut out from the Cricut, I just did a hole punch on the stem of each. And then I'm just gonna loop through some Dollar Tree twine to make a garland. Now I did say in my community tab, I did ask rather, if you guys would be interested in seeing a Cricut tutorial video. And a lot of you guys did seem interested in that. So I will be working on that with the next couple weeks and just kind of doing like an intro or basics for the Cricut machine for those of you who are interested. So really simple, going back to this leaf garland, I just looped through 10 and just tied a double knot on each side of the twine just to make sure that the leaves do not fall through. Now taking this Dollar Tree oval wood sign, this was another craft square fine, but again, like the only one. <laughs> I'm gonna take two of the leftover leaves, add some Mod Podge carefully to the back of each of them, and kind of layer them and center them, as you see I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Mod Podge. I'm using a matte Mod Podge, and I'm just going to apply that in a thin coat right above both the leaves just to ensure that they stay put. I am happy that my Dollar Tree is at least carrying these signs. I used it for another DIY, which I will link down below if you're interested. They're really good quality. So I'm gonna take that fourth chalkboard label, take some hot glue, and just glue that right in the center of where those two leaves meet. Then I am just going to take some leftover twine that I had, I just looped it to kind of make like a makeshift bow and secured it with the other jute that we used for the garland, applied some hot glue on top of that ch chalkboard label to hide the hole. And then I am going to take that chalk pen that I had from the other signs and write harvest. And for this centerpiece, I decided to use a random pillowcase that I got from Christmas Tree Shop last year. I feel like it went with the neutral theme. I also styled it with my Ray Dunn inspired sign that was in my Farmhouse Trends video, which I will also link down below. I wrapped around the other chalkboard signs and I really like how I mixed the traditional floral with some neutral colors with the neutral garland that I made. And this is perfect for Thanksgiving 
coming up with the kind of thankful, grateful, blessed theme. It's great for just fall in general. And I love that I was able to make this using items that I've already had in my house. And I just picked up like two items from Dollar Tree. So this cost me like $2 to make. But if you have tags ready at your house, then you don't even have to go out and buy them. And it's like a free project. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I hope it gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget. And let me know down in the comments, do you repurpose seasonal decor? If you're kind of tired of the colors, do you just give it some new life so you always don't have to go out and buy new seasonal decor because that can definitely get expensive and I'm all about saving money. So I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and just say hi. I love talking to you guys. All right, bye.